for the opening race of the day and they're off for this bet in running on bet victor conditional jockeys handicap hurdle 11 runners making their way towards the first of eight flights sergeant wilson and whiz kid in the red cap as they come towards the first brentford hope took it right behind them on his right then the red and white check of oakley on the inside is American Jerry racing alongside Bread and Butter, near side the maroon colours of the mare Grivatana, and then held up uh, behind them is Brookie in the blue and white quarters, the grey Castel Gandolfo, and towards the inside then Made for You, and alongside Believe Jack having his first start since January of 2022 in the blue hoop jacket. So they're moving past us then and going away from us now, heading across towards the back straight where they have four flights to take sergeant wilson and ben bromley the leaders but only by about half a length or so whiz kid and luke scott with brentford hope in third place in the hands of alice stevens as they move down towards the first flight down the back which they all jump very nicely indeed and already there's about 10 lengths between first and last tracking the leading trio bread and butter tristan Durrell in the white jacket with the yellow hoops and then on the outside is Grivatana as they go down towards the second flight. And again, all jumping well down towards the third down the back straight, which is number four in all here. Sergeant Wilson continuing to lead them from Wizkid. Brentford Hope still right behind them in third place. On the inside there, bread and butter in the yellow cap. On the outside is Grivatana just ahead of bread and butter the gray then Castel Gandolfo sitting in the middle of the field so too on the inside then is American Jerry no move yet from Ben Godfrey on Brookie as they took the last flight down the back straight Brookie's tracked there by Believe Jack on the inside Oakley in the red and white check and looking on still made for you so they're moving down towards the left hand turn they've gone past uh, halfway here and the pace is pretty strong. These two having a good old set two at the head of affairs as they move down the side of the course. Sergeant Wilson in the green jacket and Wiz Kid. They've got a three length lead at this stage then over Brentford Hope in third place. Grivatana is up now to within half a length in fourth as they move down towards the entrance to the home straight. The field's so well strung out all of a sudden as they come down towards the entrance of the home straight, they've got uh, just three more flights left to take, just over half a mile to cover. And Wizkid moving alongside Sergeant Wilson. Grivatana making up ground for Angus Shalader on the near side. Still covered up is Brentford Hope and Alice Stevens. Now these four are a long way clear of the others. They're crossing the third last flight now, and all four of them jumped it particularly well. Just seeing Brookie moving into fifth place, but he's got an awful lot of ground to make up on them. Brentford Hope is cruising on the outside now of the driven whiz kid as they move on towards the last two flights here. Sergeant Wilson is back in third now. Whiz kid the leader, but for how long? Brentford Hope travelling very strongly with Alice Stevens. They come down towards the second last, and Brentford Hope took off ahead there and is full of running, it would seem. A quarter of a mile left to go. Nothing really emerging from the pack. Brookie is looking very tired. He was in fifth place. He's lost two or three places Brentford Hope now down towards the last with a lead of about six lengths and he skips over it clear and Brentford Hope here and Alice Stevens have been traveling beautifully throughout and is about 10 clear now the gallant Sergeant Wilson in second the race is on for third made for you is challenging for that but they're in a different league to this that winner Brentford Hope who's come home here and outclassed them Brentford Hope and Alice Stevens for the Harry Derham team and the Optimist Syndicate win really easily by about 15 lengths. Sergeant Wilson in second, made for you, and then Wizkid back in fourth. Brentford Hope makes a winning return here at Newby for trainer Harry Derham and, and jockey Alice Stevens. And a nice winner for you, because that's number 20 in a £7 claim gone. But what a lovely horse that was to ride. Yeah, it was an absolute pleasure. Travelled very well. Um, gave me a bit of a fright. I think it was second last down the back. Just had a bit of a grab at it, um, but then able to fill him back up. Thought we went a nice, decent gallop. Helped when Paul Nichols' horse came up beside me. Just let me travel back into the bit again. No, I'm actually delighted. And first, first ride is conditional for Harry, so perfect start. Yeah, no, and to be fair, it's been a really good start. Ben Brookhouse, you've had a few nice winners for as well. Lots of winners in the point to point in sphere. How many in that sphere? And it gives me plenty of confidence going under rules. Yeah, I had um, 
mid-range of 50 pointy and then you know had a great year when the amateur championship uh, with the support of Henry Daly who holds my license so you know it was a hard decision to make because I love my pointy and rode for some great people but you know I want to look back as an old lady and think I did I'm glad I did that rather than kicking myself because I didn't give it a chance. Well, I think that experience will stand you in good stead because for a sub-mile claimer now at five you've got years of the point and experience it doesn't count for winners under rules and like I say if you ride horses like that so there'll be plenty of winners to come. It'll make my life very easy if I get to ride horses like that. Well, no, no, thank, thank you. you Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.